Walkers, I have some, I'm going to make some layouts tonight, and I have some photos that I've printed at home, uh, wallet size, on my printer, and then I've gathered some supplies, and I always tended to go overboard with the supplies, but the theory here was supposed to go along with Glitter Girls episode um, number 94, the monochromatic method, so I pulled like a million supplies. <laughs> Like I started and then I just kept going. So I'm also I'm sort of going to do a sort to get back to her original colors. So you'll just see me do that. So hers were black and white and aqua with a little bit of gold. So I'm just going to put the the things that match in this pile and the other things in this pile and I might even make another layout with the rest. So what I've added to the rest is I added in some red and more yellow. Um, but over here it's just going to be the, um, the uh, black and white aqua and a little tiny bit of yellow. So I, yeah, I just, I just start looking at all of my supplies going, oh, that looks great and that looks great. So this has the aqua, but this is blue. So, but I do have a specific use for it. Um, but I'm just gonna, it's gonna go in the no pile. <laughs> um, here's some lime green. That doesn't really work. That's black and white. Um, this has a whole lot of colors in it, so I'm gonna put it over here. This is, this qu this qualifies black and white and aqua with a tiny bit of pink, but I could cover that up. This whole sheet, um, there was something that I was going to use but that's going to be, um, I think, my page number two tonight. So I, I might do a little, maybe, some speed scrapping tonight. We'll see. We'll see if I can get it going. <laughs> um, there are some elements on here that do qualify. Like this could be the black and white um, and then the, the aqua. So I am going to pull that. Um, this starts to have a little bit too many colors. But it, those were the like the extra colors that I added to that black, white, aqua, and yellow. They were red and lime green. Um, yeah, I just really went totally. I start going hog wild is the thing. Is like, okay, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty. And then before you know it, um, you know, it's no longer a small kit. It's a huge kit. So even though this is pink on the back, it's yellow on this side. So I will keep it. Um, that's going to go over here. These are mostly Echo Park papers. Um, I just love them. They're so cute. Uh, so I'm just doing the ones that are black and white and aqua. Um, this I'm, I could use, but you see it's, it's kind of getting to the point where, oh, that's, that's an awful lot of stuff. Here's some black and white that I could use. But I really, you know, I should just stop. I should just stop. <laughs> um, but it's nice to have options, but it's also, it, it can be an impediment um, when you have too many options. So I'm trying to limit my options. That's black and white, that will. And then I have this whole, like, all sorts of doodads and embellishments. Um, those are all going to qualify, as is the, the aqua blue paper underneath it, and then a gray, and a gray and aqua, a yellow page, okay, and some black and white, um, I don't know, <laughs> so there we go, maybe just that one card I, I wanted, um, I noticed that I say um a lot. It's funny when you watch your own videos and then you realize like, oh, all those annoying things that other people do. Well, guess what? I do them too. <laughs> and I think, oh, I should stop saying um so much. So it's kind of interesting to, I'm, I, um, if I didn't introduce myself in the beginning, I'm Katie Scott and I'm a scrapbooker and I am in the process of doing 30 days of scrapbooking videos. And, um, yeah, um, is something that I hear myself saying a lot when I look back at the videos. So I haven't watched them all 
Um, but I see there goes um again. But I do watch. I do try to watch them to see where what's what do I like about them? What do I don't like about them? And um, um is is a thing I really don't like. Okay, so here's my like way too many <laughs> supplies kit. And now I'm going to kind of mimic what Chanel or Glitter Girl did in episode number 94. And so I did already have two pages back here that I thought, I cut this down to 11 by 11. This was just a clear, um, kind of unembellished 12 by 12 sheet. And then I, what I want to do is border it. I don't like that. I wonder if I'm overexposed. <laughs> so I'm just putting the, 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 the things that I don't think I'm going to use to the side. Um, that's okay. Uh, it has some leaves in it and that may... I'm not sure if I like that or not. What I'm looking for now is a background piece of paper. And my other option was this one here, that one, or I think this one, and it honestly doesn't make that much of a difference. This is less of a contrast, and this is more of a contrast. I think that's almost a little distracting. But it also, like, I like the energy of it because what I'm going to be making the page about is we had two new friends over this weekend, two of my kids' new friends. I'm just going to move that, my light, a little bit further away just so I still have light but it's not too overexposed. Let's see. Let's see if that improves. I think it did just a little bit so you can see a little bit more contrast there. Um, so there's a little less light. <laughs> okay, so this page, I have two subjects here. Um, one is I took my daughter to see Mamma Mia. And the other one is I had, we had two new friends over for a sleepover this weekend. I think I'll start with, I was going to start with the friends, but I think I might just start with the, the Mamma Mia um, yeah, we'll do that first. So there's my four wallet size, and I think actually I'm going to save this chevron for the, um, the, all the kids over the weekend because it was like so chaotic and chevrons make me feel like chaotic, <laughs> right? they they feel a little chaotic. Um, you feel it. But this could go well with Mamma Mia. So Mama, the, the set of Mamma Mia was interesting because it was all blue and white. So really I should be doing blue and white, but we'll see. <laughs> so, and then, so my daughter and I went to, let's just see if I'm going to change my mind again one more time. Because I could use this, which is a little bit more blue than aqua. Um, but I think it's going to be harder to write on it. So I like the plainness of this. It's a like a mint green color. So I think I'll use that. The one thing I don't like about uh, my photos from my home printer is that they. it feels like I get bits of them on my fingers. They don't feel super clean. You feel like a, you know, a newspaper that kind of comes off on your fingers. And so then if I'm not careful with a clean piece of paper like this, I can get all of that on my, like I think I've gotten it right there. And I don't really want that. I'm not, wasn't the look I was going for. <laughs> so now I'm just going to adhere this down. And I just, when I do that, I have a big piece. I just like to use a glue stick. So there we go. And I do have the program, but I don't think I'm going to use it on the layout. Um, I think I've already put it into my project life. So what I want to do is, 
on Chanel's page, she did three Project Life cards. And let's just see. I have some. I didn't pull my Project Life cards, but I do have a bunch of six by six sheets. Those aren't really. I like the idea maybe of this one. Let's just see if we lay that down. Here's the Mamma Mia. And I have like an odd number of photos. I have four photos. I don't have to use all of them. And they're different, like they're landscape and portrait. So they're a little a little wonky. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need to put my horizontal um, lines down first. Huh. <laughs> I'm not loving what I've pulled here. This is so sad. I think I am going to pull some Project Life cards. Hold on, I'll be right back. So I keep all of my Project Life cards. Um, no, I don't. I'm <laughs> I don't keep them all together, but I keep some of them together. I thought I kept them together over here, but I can't seem to find them. Oh, isn't that like a major fail? <laughs> um, I don't know where they are. I am in the process of reorganizing, like moving my scrap room, and it's just, it hasn't been, oh, here they are, they were right next to me. It hasn't been a completely easy process. It's been kind of painful, honestly. Like, I kind of miss my old scrapbook space. There's parts of it I like and parts of it I don't like, so I don't know. I'm not sure yet if I love it or hate it. <laughs> okay, here's some brackets. That could be interesting. We don't use brackets anymore in scrapbooking. At one, at one time, they used to be pretty popular. Seems like not so much anymore. Um, these are just, I think, the Clementine edition of... Um, the Becky Higgins style Project Life. So I kind of like how that looks. Um, we'll see. So Mama Mia was playing at Ruth Eckerd Hall and my daughter loves Mama Mia um, but she didn't so much love the musical. She was like a little bit unimpressed. Um, what I might do is, I might cut one of these photos and just do three. Because in does, you know, three is going to just look a little better. But I then I feel like I need a little more space in the middle here. Let's see. And so I've been watching some other YouTube videos, and I, you know, at first I was thinking, oh, it's not, I, I don't like the videos where they fast forward it. And I'm a little bit changing my mind on that because I can kind of see where that might be useful. <laughs> I want to say that I'm so fast at scrapbooking, and I, I really think that I am, except that when I'm doing it and talking about it, I'm a little less fast. I'm finding. Um, seriously, it's, it just goes a little bit slower than it does if I'm just on my own and not talking about it. Although, I like to make the videos and I, I find it fun. So I'm just, I haven't found a piece that I really like here yet. Maybe this one. <laughs> yeah, that ink is, seems to be getting everywhere. That's kind of bugging me too. Um, I'm going to try this, so I want it to be, my other issue with this new scrapbook space is that in the old space I used a guillotine cutter and then I haven't brought that up and so I kind of miss 
my guillotine cutter up here uh, in my new scrapbook space, but I'm not really sure I want to buy a whole nother one. And I'm not really, okay, I'm starting to like this a little bit better. So because I just like it a little bit better, I'm going to adhere it down because otherwise I'm just going to keep on thinking about it and I'm kind of tired of thinking about it. So we're, yeah, we're 15 minutes in and that's plenty of time to <laughs> get your base set up. So let's get these adhered. But anyways, yeah, my guillotine cutter is something that I kind of miss having up here. Oh, I overlapped that over there. I'm going to overlap it over here, too. Let's see if I can just do that. But I, like, I have a few of those cutters that are handheld. But I honestly don't think they cut all that straight, and I think they're difficult to use. So while I've been scrapbooking in my new scrapbook space, I just have been using scissors. And so nothing is like all that precise, which is okay. Um, there I am so far. So basically, so far I have two pieces of paper, um, one cut to I think 11 by 11. It might be 11 and a half. And then I have two Project Life cards and um, a 6 by 6 card that I've trimmed down. And now I'm going to have three photos, three wallet size photos that are going to go there in the middle. And I think I want to maybe mount one of them uh, like that. Yeah. And that says five star rating, which is sort of, it's kind of appropriate. Um, I'm wondering whether I should trim down my photo a little bit or not because it feels like it's covering those stars up or it's not even borders. Um, I think I might ch just trim the sides instead of, instead of trimming my photo because in the photo you can see it says Mamma Mia, like the, there's a banner there that says where we are. So I kind of want to keep that for context. So I'm just going to adhere that down with my sticky jabs. I don't use an ATG gun or I, I guess that's what you call it. All-terrain glue gun. I'm not even sure what it stands for. Um, Yeah, the sides just need to be trimmed just a tiny bit. Let's see. Oops. Almost there. But I'm not going to um, mat the other two photos. Those are just going to go straight down. I kind of wanted those to be right there. What else can I tell you? I find that um, watching the, the videos, though, does help me when I'm in a creative rut. It's fun to watch them. But it's and here I say, as I'm making a video, you have to be careful about just continuing to watch them and not making anything. I think you need to like either play along or you know do a scrap lift of the video that you're watching. Um, unless you're really getting a lot of inspiration from the videos, if you're just watching them and you're not like this, I'm talking about the scrapbook videos. If you're just watching them and you're not making things, I think that can actually make you start to feel bad after a while. So, <laughs> like there's a certain amount of learning that goes on, but the process videos, which is what I'm trying to do here, hopefully sort of successfully, um, I think if you just watch them and you, you don't um, make your own layouts, then I think that's sort of a problem. And the other thing I was trying to figure out is if you're seeing this upside down or not. So I'm doing this right side up 
And um, the next one I'm going to, I'm just going to see if I, <laughs> I don't know, I think you might see that better this way. So I'm just going to flip my camera upside down. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so now I need some horizontal lines. Um, what Chanel or Glitter Girl has done is she's used a gold line um, here. And I just have that one. Um, but let me just see if I have maybe just another one. Because I actually wanted that one for my other layout. That little gold strip. Oh, I might have something. Well, I don't know. Anyways, the play was great. The Mamma Mia play was really fun. I liked it a lot. I do. I have... Well, we're going to add in some paint. That's not the end of the world. I have this. It does kind of get a little off topic. I could cover it up, though, the pink. I think I might do that. And I think I might just get it right under that middle part. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it over the hole. We'll see. So even though this has um, pink, I'm going to place this underneath, if it's coming from underneath, so you won't really see the pink. Let's see if that, how that looks. I kind of like that. And what she did is, um, that's, that's pretty much like all the yellow on the, um, on the page. Now I have a little bit more of this stuff. She ran it all the way across, which is perhaps what I should have done, but I almost want to do it like this. Top and bottom. I don't know why. <laughs> so it's just going to look a little bit different than the way she did it. Because now it, it sort of reminds me of like a crown if you put it on the top too. And it was a girl's day and kind of feels like queen for a day or whatever. We, we went to Mamma Mia and then we went out for my favorite sushi. And then when I get sushi, she always goes, she gets ice cream at the Japanese restaurant. Okay, I can't really, the paper under, the face paper isn't all that fantastic. So that's how we're looking so far. Um, now is the time where I want to think about the title and um, I could, I think I'm just going to say Mamma Mia. Um, it, it seems obvious, but I am her mama. <laughs> so we'll go with Mamma Mia. Mia. It was a good show. It was a little hokey. Like, I think she, Allison thought it was slightly, like, a little too, like, ha ha, you know, like, I made a joke, now laugh. And she didn't really enjoy, like, the obvious. She likes a more subtle kind of a humor. So I think that bugged her a little bit. But otherwise, I think she liked it. Let's see. I don't have a huge choice of letter stickers. Um, I have those. I have these. I think these will work pretty nicely, actually. Um, if I had black, I would consider that. But I don't see that I do candy. So in the interest of let's keep going, I'm just going to use... These. Um, and then, let's see, I was watching a Mercy Tiara video the other day, and she did the coolest thing, I actually watched it today, um, but she has wax paper, and then she, that's how she gets her 
letter placement, but I'm just going to use the edge of this and see how that does. But I thought that was pretty clever. I've got to remember to bring some wax paper up to my scrapbooking room. Just to get the letter placement down. And she also, like when she's making the videos, it looks like you're right over her shoulder. And I don't know how she places her camera, but I'd like to know. And um, she also, like there's no shake. Like sometimes I notice with my tripod, there's a little bounce and <laughs> I'm not really sure. I know what's causing it, but I don't know how to stop it. Um, so I'm still learning. I think it's day, this video will be day 17. And I have been kind of a little bit fudging on the days because there's been a few days when I haven't made a video and other days where I've made more than one video in a day and I call it, <laughs> like sometimes I'll call it the same day but other times I'll just say, oh, this was day 14 and 15 and it's not actually, but I think that's okay. Okay, this, this isn't the best. So I have a tanker desk. And I don't know what the top of my tanker desk is made out of, but the letters stick. So there is Mamma Mia. I think it almost looks better if it's a little bit separated. I think it stands out a little bit better, even though it's great to... Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, epic fail here. Oh, bad. This is really bad because on the home printed photos, they really aren't like, oh, if you get anything stuck to them, it's hard to get them out. It's hard to unstick things. Oh, this is just scrapbooking disaster, people. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really did not enjoy that. Okay, let's just stick it here now <laughs> before anything more horrible happens. Um, there are like tiny, a tiny bit of those letter stickers stuck to the photos. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> okay. So here's the page so far. Mamma Mia. I'm pretty sure there's two M's, yes, in Mamma Mia. And even despite the calamity. And I really think that these need a little bit extra adhesive underneath them. Um, they could even use some washi. Let's see if washi tape would, I'm not sure, be cute or not. And so the theory on this layout was to be kind of mono, I kind of like that, monochromatic. So we're black and white and aqua with a little bit of yellow. And so anyways, I was before I was talking about the process videos, and I can see the benefit of the let me fa fast forward through the layout because there's sometimes when you're making the video and you, you want to just think some more about it. Um, and so if you know you're going to fast forward it later, then I can see where that would be easy to go, no, I'm going to put it here, I'm going to put it there, or whatever. Um, but I actually, I kind of like... I like the kind of the immediacy and the pressure of the way that I do it. Um, not, I don't think it's necessarily better for the viewer, but it's better for me because it's no editing. And um, then I, I really do have to commit. So one of the things that you learn in improvisational comedy, um, which is a class that I took a couple years ago, um, is that you really just have to get up and pick it and stick it and commit and um, <laughs> you know the really great comedians like Steve Carell and Will Ferrell and Jim Carrey if you, you you notice that like they can also be in movies like they can be in Ace Ventura and you know all kinds of silly movies but they can also especially like Steve Carell lately we just watched a movie called The Way Way Back it was really good. It had Tony Collette in it, and um, 
But anyways, actors like Jim Carrey, if you remember him, like think The Truman Show, you know, or um, Steve Carell in The Way Way Back, or um, he's been in some, like, Dan in Real Life. Um, they can play serious actors, or they can play serious roles, too. And the reason is, is they're not trying, when they're funny, they're not trying to be funny. They just completely commit to the role. They just completely, just completely commit to it. And if you can translate that, I'm committing to this, um, and not questioning it, and keep, like, trust in the process and keep on going with your scrapbooking, then you can make faster, better, like, less stressful, sort of, <laughs> pages, or you'll just, you'll, you'll get to a point where you'll have, um, more confidence, I guess, I guess, <laughs> but, or you'll just be able to make the layouts faster and you'll get more layouts done. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I know that I can make layouts faster. Um, so I'm just going to do my journaling now and then it's probably going to like, just call it a day. So Allison was so disappointed when I told her that Meryl Streep, her favorite actress, the star of this movie, would not be in the musical. She really thought Meryl Streep would be in it. She was kind of disappointed. But I scored some awesome seats at half price for our girls' day of this musical sushi plus ice cream and <laughs> the, and we went to this belly dancing um, festival and is this right tribal burn and this was November. 2013. And I always date them because later you won't remember. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. And so now is the time we're on sprockets. <laughs> we're not on sprockets. Um, now's the time where I'm looking for a little something extra to put onto the page just to finish it off. Um, I could call it finished now, but it, um, it really been, I think it's good to put something shiny on there. So here are, this is a embellishment pack from, what is it called? 31 Decorative Brads uh, from My Mind's Eye. It's really cute. And this does incorporate some more colors. Um, I, I do kind of want to use the stars, you know, but there's no stars here. Um, let me just look for a second, see if I can find anything else. I also have that same, I have that embellishment pack twice. I don't know how I got it two times, but I did. Um, and that this one says The Good Life. I kind of like that one. Um, I don't know. I'm not completely convinced of either of the two of those yet. I do have some glittery stars. I'm not really sure how, how I'd, where I'd put them, so I think I'm going to skip those. And I also, oh, let's see, Mamma Mia, here I go again, Mama, I can I resist you? I have no idea. <laughs> um, I don't know what to put on there. I just think, like, Debbie 
bad. Jolly says, like, put a brad on it. <laughs> so I have a brad. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it, Debbie Hodge. <laughs> um, Debbie Hodge is my is is the owner of Get It Scrapped, and I'm on the creative team there. Maybe a yellow brad that could work, um, or maybe you know what Dora Sander does is she does like two if it's like just the two of us, which it kind of is. Or I could put them here, or just maybe here, or I have no idea. I don't know. Um, I just don't know. Let's just see. Or here's a little like a little camera that kind of coordinates with the I don't know where I'm gonna put it though. Because this is so kind of um, symmetrical that it's hard to put something that's not symmetrical. Let's just see. But I do feel like we need a little something more. I'm not really, nope, <laughs> no Debbie Hodge, no Brad's today. Um, I just can't figure out where to put them. I'm sure if she's watching, she would know. She'd be saying, oh, it's obviously right there. But I don't know. I do have this little um, bow. That could be kind of cute. Put it right there. Just because it, it would make it, it's dimensional. And I could keep the symmetrical nature of it. And I also have, I forget about these, um, I have these Heidi Swap things, um, but I don't know. I think the little, the bow is kind of, I don't know. I like it. The way that I'm going to adhere it, and also I kind of just want to be done with this layout. <laughs> And honestly, no one will ever think about this or care about it ever again, probably. So to just get it in here, I think is great. I'm going to try the, the ThermoWeb Sticky Dots to get this. It's like a dimensional, where are you? It's like, I don't know, kind of a hard plastic bow. Because I already have the shine from the uh, the letter stickers. Let's see how we do. Ugh. You're not supposed to see any of that glue. I think I did perfect with that. I had it down a little bit. We're just gonna stick it, pick it, and stick it, right? Okay, we're done. There is Mamma Mia, all finished. Um, I am Katie Scott, and this is, um, I think, day 17 of 30 days of scrapbooking videos. Um, my blog is Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking. Thank you for watching. Bye.